Hello, I'm Rod Vester and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. This is the best place for musicians who want to develop skills on and off the instrument. So today we're talking about Instagram growth strategies for 2022. Let's get right into it. So tip number one is to study other accounts in your niche. So similar to anything that you want to become better at doing, or anything that you want to become a, an expert in or anything that you want to master, you have to study it. You have to do some research and Instagram and other social media accounts um, are, are no different, right? So you have to see what is working for other accounts. You have to see what works best on the platform so that you're able to do best practices for the platform. So on Instagram, you know, go and study other accounts within your niche, you know, smaller accounts, medium sized accounts, larger accounts to see what they're doing in order to be successful on the platform. So you have to do some research, do some digging uh, to see what is working for others. So once you're able to see what other accounts are doing and how they're being successful, you're able to kind of take some of those strategies to implement uh, to your own strategies, right? To grow on Instagram, right? So, so do some research, do some digging around to see what is working for others. That's number one. Number two, reels. Reels, I'll say it again, reels, <laughs> reels, that's the thing. But something that I've noticed in particular is that when I post a horizontal reel versus a vertical reel, they perform differently. The vertical reel always outperforms the horizontal reel. And I'm sure that's just because, you know, Instagram is a more vertical video platform. And so maybe the algorithm <laughs> is, you know, pushing out those vertical videos more. Mm. Uh, uh, well, that has been my experience. And so I would suggest that you do a vertical reel. And also similar to number one, see what others are doing, what reels uh, and, and the style of the reel seem to perform well. I mean, and these can be entertainment, educational, informational, whatever your niche is, whatever you do. Um, but see, you know, other reels within your niche again to see what is performing well. And so maybe that can help get some of your creative juices going, okay? So number two, reels, not just regular videos, okay? Reels, repeat after me, reels. That's right, reels. All right, number three, have a hashtag strategy. So on Instagram, hashtags are still a thing. Uh, I guess about a month ago, Instagram, you know, came out and said that they wanted uh, people to start using eight hashtags. Um, and, and I think that was a re I, I don't know what the reason is, but, um, I would suspect that some people are probably just using hashtags that don't make any sense to their particular post. Um, and, but so you want to have a hashtag strategy. I'll share something that has worked for me. Uh, I put hashtags into three categories and let's talk about those three categories now. So category one are small niche hashtags. These are one to 99,000 posts associated with these hashtags. And so again, these are more niche down. These are more smaller hashtags. Um, and then category two are more medium sized hashtags, 100,000 to 999,000. Then the mega hashtags, what I call category three, are over 1 million hashtags. I think what happens sometimes is that, um, you know, we, especially if we don't have any type of hashtag strategy, we use these large hashtags, right? So like hashtag music, which has millions and millions uh, of, of, of posts associated with that hashtag. And of course, people follow hashtags, right? So when you post your video, your Reels video, and you use the hashtag music and you use other big hashtags like that, whether it's hashtag, you know, piano, hashtag piano cover, whatever, and all these like really mega sized hashtags, you know, you are competing against millions and millions of posts, right? And so that, that lessens your chance of being discovered, okay? So it's okay to use these mega size hashtags, but you want to use um, a, a small amount of those, right? So like, you know, three or, or you know, three or four or something like that, single digits, okay? Uh, especially if you're a, a smaller, Instagram uh, account, right? So if you're a smaller Instagram account, you wanna use more of category one of the small niche hashtags, use more of those, and then use some of the medium sized hashtags, and then very few of the mega sized hashtags. I don't know if you should use eight hashtags, 
use 12, use 15, or use all 30. Um, you know, I think just experiment with those, but whatever you use, make sure they're relevant to your post and what you are doing, right? So don't use any hashtags that are relevant. So if you're in music, you know, you're not using fashion hashtags in your post, right? I think that, you know, suffice to say that that doesn't really make sense, okay? So use that hashtag strategy, see where that gets you, and let me know in the comments, you know, um, if that works for you, or if you have a different hashtag strategy that you wanna share with our community, that would be great as well. All right, number four, use trending audio. Now, this is something that I have not personally done before on my Instagram, but I, I, I know it works because I've seen countless people use trending audio in order to, you know, to, to get visible. So there's two different Instagram accounts that you can kind of see what's trending. One of those is Instagram's creators, and that is at creators. The other is at preview.app, at preview.app. So both of these um, Instagram accounts, they show you, you know, and, and, and really provide like a report on what's trending. When you go to audio files, you can easily see what's trending because it has like an arrow up right before the number. So you may see an arrow up, then, you know, 125,000 reels or whatever, okay? And so you can really see, uh, visibly see like what's trending again, but go to those two accounts and check out what's trending and use trending audio in order to push out your, uh, your videos more if that makes sense for you to do that. Number five is to identify and tag theme or slash niche accounts. So in music, there are a lot of different accounts that just share content of other people, okay? And so, you know, there, uh, for example, in the, in, in the piano world, there are many accounts um, that just share piano videos, right? So you can begin to tag those type of accounts in your piano videos or guitar videos, violin videos, whatever you're doing, find those accounts uh, that just shares content of other creators tag them in there and also you can ask them, you know, DM them and ask them to repost your videos. So that's a great way to get visible, especially because a lot of these accounts, these theme niche accounts are, are larger accounts and maybe much larger than your account, right? So if you, uh, you know, tag them in there, ask them to reshare it, you get eyeballs on your, on your videos to a larger audience. So that can work really well for you. So number five, is to identify those niche accounts and then tag them in it and also ask them to repost your videos. Number six is to engage with people. So if you are a smaller account or even a medium sized account, uh, that should be easier for you to do. So when people ask questions in the comment, answer those questions, you know, when people, you know, put all the fire emojis there, then, you know, just like it or whatever, but try to engage with people because, you know, as with all things, relationships really drives all things, right? So building relationship, building community with people who are following you, who are taking the time to comment, uh, it's really important. So, you know, again, if you're a smaller account or medium sized account and you have the time uh, and the, the bandwidth to, to do that, then, you know, definitely engage with people, you know, before you post and after you post. And sometimes people say within that 15 minute window, um, that so the algorithm can see that you're engaging and people are engaging with you and pushes out your video to more people. So within that 15 minute window, maybe a good time to engage with people, but you know, just, just engage with people who engage with you. And number seven, have a CTA, call to action. So, you know, people need to know what to do when they come to your page, right? Um, you may think, well, they know, they should know to follow me, they should know to share my content or, or whatever, or they should know to comment, but you know, sometimes people don't know what you want from them, right? So it's it's only, you know, one additional step to give a CTA to your video. So if you post a reel, um, you know, you can say at the end to, hey, you know, follow me for more information, follow me for more music videos, follow me for more tips and tricks, whatever it is, or, you know, share this with a friend, you know, comment below if you have a question that you want to ask you know, ask them to comment below, but have a call to action to get people engaged with your content. Here's the question of the day. Which of these seven are you going to use this week? This week, which of these seven are you going to use? Comment below, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Take care.